Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode in version 1.1 with me, Reinstein. How is everybody? Today we're going to be doing some more of these pesky missions where we need to do observational surveys of Kerbin. So for this one we're going to be doing focused temperature surveys. And you can see the cost uh, or the rewards for this particular one are going to be around 20,750. And for this one around 22,000. So we need to build a rocket that obviously sits in line with those figures. And I think this rocket's pretty good. I've got my little X science mod up here. Uh, this rocket's not bad. So I've adjusted it slightly from the previous episode. Um, it costs 9,677. And we're going to be recovering that part there. So in order to recover that, I thought I'd better add some parachutes. I've now added the science junior as well and some mystery gooks. We can probably get much needed science from these areas. Now let's head to the launch pad. Okay, so press M. Have a little look here. So the first one I'm going to go for is a temperature survey here. Now these differ from the last episode where we needed to be below a certain height. On these ones we need to be above a certain height. So for the first one, above 19,100 meters. So I'm going to do it pretty similar to the way I did it last time. Get above sort of 12, 14,000 meters, then aim towards where we want to go. And hopefully everything will work out. Now we can do a material study while we landed here. So I'm just going to do that. Let's observe the materials. We get 7.5 science. Sweet. That'll open up another thing for us to research. Okay. Haven't decided what I'm going to research yet. So away we go. Let's do our little burn. There's Jebediah. Let's do our interior overlay. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, that's such a fantastic new feature they've added. You can see him sitting in there in his view. He's looking up at the sky. You can't see anything. Turn to open. All right. SRF 120 meters per second. What does SRF stand for? Rocket's flying pretty good. We're at 2,500 meters now and ascending nicely. Everything is nominal. And I'm just going to do a slight turn over to that direction. Just a slight turn. Just to... Just a nudge the rocket in the general direction we want to be heading. So it looks like it's going to be over that way. Down the coast. Sort of south. Okay, so we're getting to nearly 10,000 meters. Keep an eye on what you can see on the X science thing as well. I'm going to do my little temperature reading here. 5.6 science. And we are at a good altitude to begin tilting towards where I want to go. Oh, but we've lost control of the rocket. No, let's tilt it, tilt, tilt you brute. Oh god, we're well out of control. Come on, Jebediah, get this thing back under control. He's struggling. Oh man, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. We've lost all our speed. Go on, son. Go on. Power in that direction. Can we do it still? I wonder. We need to be above, remember... 19,100 meters. Come on, use all that fuel you've got. Here we go. We're heading towards it. If I can get the apoapsis above that uh, little temperature gauge there, I'll be happy. Okay, are we still heading in the right direction? We are kind of roughly. A bit more to the left. And our apoapsis is sort of below it. Yeah! We're there. I think we can do it. So let's fast forward. We're entering Saicedo's vision. Now we need to measure the temperature. Oh, that's going to negate the previous temperature we got. Never mind. Let's log the temperature. 7.2 science. And we've completed the contract. All we need to do now is land safely. But we can observe the mystery goo while we're here. Let me just drag this science thing out of the way. Nine science. Material study. We can't do another one. We can do an EVA report. But I don't think I want to get Jebediah out. Should I try it? He might let go. No, you can't disembark, disembark while off Kerbin's surface. Astronaut complex upgrade required. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't uh, be comfortable doing that anyway. Okay, we're heading over there. Let's decouple this stage. And hopefully we can land this thing safely. Because then we're going to have a nice amount of science to use to unlock something else. Wow, I can't control this thing at all. <laughs> it's pointing nose down. Crew report while flying over Kerbin's grasslands. Crew report. Yeah, 3.5 science. All right, don't go too fast, Riney. You're going to crash. 
Luckily our speed is plummeting and our parachutes are safe to deploy. Hopefully that's going to yank us pointing that way. That's how I want to land. Something just exploded I heard. Yes, Jebediah, you are a awesome pilot. This is so dangerous doing all this stuff. Early on in your career mode is where um, I struggle most. Like I, I, I find it quite hard flying across the surface of Kerbin like this. It's relatively easy going into Stella, but uh, I guess it gives me good practice for like landing on other planets and stuff, particularly the ones with higher gravity. Now, after this mission, we are going to um, do the second temperature reading and see if there's any more hijinks that will happen. But for now, I'm pretty sure this is going to land safely, so I'm going to cut to the next mission. Slight change of plan, guys. We've now landed safely, and there's some more science to be done. So I'm going to EVA Jebediah right here. Oh, let's slow down the physics engine. And we can do an EVA report here. F another 5.6 science. I don't suppose... I can get a fuel sample. No, I won't be able to. I think I need another upgrade. And we can do a mystery goo reading here as well. So let's not l waste this opportunity. And that's another three science. Material study. So that's all the science exhausted on here now. So let's recover our vessel and see what else we can now unlock in the uh, research tree. Cool. There we go, we made a nice profit. No more XP for Jebediah, he's disappointed. He's like, what am I doing all this hard work for? Give me a medal or something. Right, so we've got 76 science. What would be the best thing to unlock next? I do like these thud liquid fuel engines, so I may go for this. And the Terrier offers really good um, Delta V. But this one gives me a crew cabin. Ooh, and struts. I like struts, space tape. Or flight control, giving me the small inline reaction wheel and wings. Mm, it might help, but no. Reinstein's going to go for the advanced rocketry. Let's unlock that and make our way back to the vehicle assembly building, ready to tackle this next contract. Okay, so we're doing rather good here. Look, we've got 505,000 credits now, and we're ready to head to the launch pad. So, again, this is another temperature reading. What's going to happen on this? I have no idea, but we need to be above 19,600 meters, so it shouldn't be too different to the last one. Let's turn on our sass and take off. Jebediah, you are a legend, my friend. So now we can do another temperature reading. Let's not waste this opportunity. 5.6 science. Look at that. This X science mod, I can't recommend enough, like, because often what I would do before was just randomly right click these, see if there's any more science I could gather, find out there isn't, and be like, oh, well that was a waste. With the X science mod, you know, it's so easy, it just shows you what you can do wherever you are in your in your flight, and tells you if a science um, experiment is available. Now, if you click on this little um, icon here, it shows you what, uh, what experiments are available on this vessel. I guess that depends on uh, what equipment you have on your ship. You can show all unlocked experiments, or you can show all experiments that are available in the entire game. But we don't need to worry about that just yet. Now, we are at 10,000 meters, so I'm going to start turning. If you look at my nav ball, there's a little pink icon just coming into view now. That's where we want to be headed. So, let's try and maintain some stability on this thing. Just slow down a little bit. I don't want to be going too fast. And I guess we can head to like the 45 degree mark there. So we're not pointing straight up. We're not pointing uh, horizontal. We are going 45 degrees. And we're making our way over to where we need to be. That's rather lovely. That's going quite well. Now... Are we going to have enough fuel? That's what I'm concerned about. That looks good. That looks good. Look, we're heading. The apoapsis is nearly over it. We're going to be going way high, though. Wow. Perhaps I should have turned a little bit more this way, and I'm going to use any available fuel we've got to try and lower our trajectory just slightly, because I don't want to be experiencing any heating on my rocket. Otherwise... I mean, I don't know exactly what height you have to be for the um, heating to come into play, but that looks pretty close, don't you think? 
that should get us over where we need to be and our apoapsis is going to be at 56,000 meters I'm hoping that's not too high all right is there any science we can do right now we can do a material study so let's observe and 22 and a half science hells yeah now what are we aiming for we're aiming for a temperature measurement so I'm hoping we're gonna yeah there we go we're entering Verla's recklessness now so where is my little temperature gauge there it is let's log temperature overwrite that one and that completes the contract now we've got to try and land uh, safely um, like I said not sure if my rockets gonna heat up here slightly scared let's decouple that stage anyway now we're in really thin atmosphere here I wonder if I can EVA no I still can't EVA Poor Jebediah. Alright, watch out for heating. This could blow up upon re-entry. I think we went way too high. Let's see how this plays out. Come on, Jeb, you got this. There we go. Here comes the re the heating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please don't overheat. Parachute pointing into the heating. Oh dear, that's gonna burn off, surely. God, it's like a freaking missile. Oh, yes, we made it. Nothing blew up or anything. Ha ha. Rainy is the king. Can we get any mystery goo observations here whatsoever? 1.6 signs. That'll do. I'm happy with that. All right, let's slow, hopefully slow down enough so we can open our parachutes. And yes, we're safe to deploy. Little Kerbal chatterers go mad. They're like, um, you shouldn't have opened your parachute so late. I'm like, come on. I didn't have time to, or we we're going way too fast to open them up before. Chill out, you guys. All right, a nice slow descent. Measure the temperature, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a little look. What can you see, Jeb? What's this thing down here? That disappears. How are you doing in there, mate? What are these little blue things? Part of the hatch, maybe. <laughs> Is that him talking? He's like, blah, 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 blah. Cool, that's so awesome. He doesn't look very safe or comfortable in there. This kind of makes you realize how big or how small these little command modules are. Because you imagine sending him into Stella in a tiny little module like that. Poor lad. It's not really very realistic. He's, how can, how's, can he store food or anything in there? He's probably got a few little personal belongings in this little chest. Apart from that, nothing else. There we go. We've landed safely. Yay. And we can do a crew report here. Another two science. And a mystery goo in this part of Kerbin's oceans. Another four science. Brilliant. All right. Uh, hang on. Can we do an EVA report? No. We've already done that. All right. Recover the vessel. And Jebediah, mate, you're proving yourself once again to be the best pilot ever. Now we've got 61 science. So we can unlock something else in our R&D site. So, Reinstein's Kerbal Space Agency is really taking off now. Ah, if we unlock this one, we can get wheels, which will enable me to build a simple rover to drive around the Kerbal Space Center grounds and get science from there. So I'm going to go ahead for this one. And, yeah, there we go. That about wraps things up. Next episode, we'll have a little drive around collecting science from this uh, beautiful but minimal complex we have. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful in some sort of way. Don't forget, guys, I am thinking of creating a Reinstein merchandise store with 10% of all proceeds going to charity. I would love to hear from you uh, whether you think that's a good idea, what kind of stuff you think I should sell, etc. In the meantime, please leave a like and get in touch. Love to hear from you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.